Hello everybody, back here again with another vlog a day and today is Thursday the 26th and we had a little bit of rain last night. Um, didn't seem like it was that much but the temp did break for us although today the humidity was absolutely horrendous. Once it cooled off this evening the humidity seemed to go down a bit. I came out here to the garage and decided to play in the lathe. Um, I had a hard time. I was really wanting just to head back in. It's about 1.30 in the morning, so technically I guess it's Friday. Um, just said to heck with it. Decided to go ahead and clean my lathe up. I, a lot of times after I get done with the project, I'll wait do it the next day. But I know tomorrow I've got a couple things I'm hoping to go do. And with the heat coming again tomorrow, I figured I wouldn't want to be out here cleaning up. So it's cool enough this evening. I thought I'd go ahead and say to heck with it. What I ended up making on the lathe today was four um, little feet to put on a DVD shelf that I'm building for a friend of mine and not something they were wanting, just something I thought would kind of make it stand out a little bit nicer. I figured I'd say to heck with it and go ahead and put them on there. Um, I don't know. I didn't know what I wanted from the wood and started turning it. I let the wood kind of talk to myself, talk to me what it wanted. That's what it came up with. The other problem I have is I went to head back inside um, and over here, not sure if you'll be able to see much or not, it's kind of dark. But, uh, well, I can show you on this side, I guess. My garage door, the bracket right up top here that holds, you can see it's cracked there. The other side, the um, bolts ripped completely out of the wood. And the whole top piece over there actually had fallen back down. It's a pain in the butt. Um, couldn't get it to close. It was just, I bet I spent 45 minutes to an hour out here working on this damn thing. Um, I was ready to head inside, just absolute mess. I went through and tightened up all the bolts and every one of these. Half of them are stripped out. This door is extremely old, extremely rotten. I need to get a new door on it. And every one of the bolts right here by the seam is rotted out and it just spins. Every one of the outsides are given actually enough grip. They're pulling the wood together, there's enough wood there. So I've known for quite a while I need to put a new door on here. I've just been kind of dragging my feet and dragging my feet. Um, might be time to do it. This is a double door for like pulling into like a two car garage. I'll never pull two cars in here and I would like to have a little bit deeper space on the sides maybe and the door is cheap anyway the smaller I go. So the way my garage is set up it's I'll never be on this side of the garage pulling in because it's right in front behind the house it's a pain in the butt. So it's gonna be leave the door over there as far as I can and then put in a smaller one in. I'll probably go with like just three of the segments wide instead of four it's about 16 foot wide right now. I'd be perfectly happy with a 12 foot wide door. Um, I don't want to go with an eight foot wide door. I know they'll do like an eight, eight and a half foot. I, that's a pain in the butt. I mean, a lot of your vehicles are that size. Um, my cousin has the small doors on her garage down in Kansas City and she's hit it before. And if you look at almost any house with a little tiny door on it, the smallest they make, which I think is eight or eight and a half foot, almost everyone has scrapes on it. And I don't want to mess with that crap. So I'd like to go ahead and say to heck with it and put the door in. I also might go ahead and actually put a walk-in door right here because right now my walk-in door faces the north and it kind of bugs me. While I'm doing I might go ahead and build the wall in, put the door in that way. So who knows, I'll look at it and see. I would like to have the door on that end because my house is actually over that direction. So it'd be nice to have the walk-in door closer there, but then I'd have to pull over. For, I wouldn't have a straight of a shot coming into the garage. So I still need to get rid of all her crap and get that all put away and get it to the auction and stuff and get it sold like she wants. So anyway, um, that's what I know for now. Um, the door got me like, I don't know, pretty excited and pretty worked up. So I'm um, really, I'm not gonna be able to go in and go to sleep right now and really don't feel like running on the treadmill for a while. So I think I might actually go for a jog this evening and it's nice enough weather out. It's gonna give me a good excuse to go out. And I also have a little armband reflector I bought that I haven't had a chance to use because the heat has been too damn much. So. That's all I know for now. Um, hope you have yourself a safe and wonderful day. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.